Welcome back to the third part of the pentatonic workout challenge and without further ado let's get started. If you have diligently practiced the last weeks, maybe the warm-up exercise has become a little boring. So uh, we uh, will change it a little bit and uh, will practice uh, the next weeks in a horizontal direction. Yes, I will show you. and backwards. And if you have played it on the first two strings, then go to the next two strings and play it again. And uh, that you do on the whole fretboard and your warm-up exercise is Perfect, okay. Especially on the G and the B string you have to stretch your fingers a little bit more than normally. Uh, so start slowly and uh, try, to, um, try to play accurate and not too fast. If you can play it slowly then increase the tempo, okay. After our warm-up session, we are back in our beloved pentatonic box. And for the next week we play also a group of fives, but a little bit different. So I show you. You start every group of five with a downstroke. So it's more like the famous Eric Johnson style. Thing, okay? And hopefully it becomes more and more natural and uh, you will um, increase the tempo and um, play this one in a lightning speed. Okay, and then in the sixth week we um, start to connect the pentatonic boxes in a diagonal way. And uh, if you haven't played it before it could be interesting for you uh, because you will leave the pentatonic box playing and um, play it more in a musical way. That's the first one and the second one you start on the A string and it's nearly the same. And like every week played in every key and through the circle of fifth and you will learn a lot about your fretboard. 
Okay, this was it from me for today. And like every week, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like. The tabs are below the video. I hope you have fun and make progress. Um, I have to prepare some stuff for the forthcoming shows on the next weekend. And uh, we see you in the next one. Bye.